Hey you guys, welcome to What Would Mom Say? And today I want to talk to you about meal time with your children. So in our family we have meal time routines and there's a reason why we have them. And in fact, if you want to see any of those, we have a YouTube channel of our family watching or eating supper. <laughs> it's just that easy. So a couple rules that we have, and this comes from when I was a kid and there were so many of us around the kitchen table and we were all in a lot of different sports and nobody was ever there at the same time, somebody would take their time to make the supper. It was usually one of the women. And then everybody would sit down at the table at different times, probably before the chef had sat down. They would scarf down their food because there was a lot of kids and then they would be off up from the table and out the door and nothing would be cleaned up the cook wouldn't get thanked yeah it was really it was really a sort of a lackluster experience and so what I would like to encourage you kids to do is have some mealtime routine with your children now I am still not a grandma which is just fine but one day when you kids do have children of your own I would like to recommend the model that we have. So, whoever makes the meal, we call the chef. <laughs> the chef. What happens is the family sets the table and gets drinks and gets everything put on the table, washes their hands, go to the, goes to the bathroom, so that once we do sit down at the table, there's the only requirement is for us to sit and enjoy eating and having conversation. There's no need to leave. So that's the first step. The second one is that everybody must be sitting down at the table and dished out. And then the chef takes the first bite. And that's really important. If you were going to a restaurant, you wouldn't... You would probably wait for everybody at the table to be served. And the beautiful thing about restaurants is that people sit down and they eat at the same, they get served at the same time. So they're sitting there, they're enjoying their drinks, they're enjoying conversation, the server brings the meals, everybody eats at the same time. Um, sort of the same thing in your house or in our house, and I'm hoping in your house, is that the chef takes the first bite and the chef we don't eat until everybody serves. So everybody serves, the chef takes the first bite. Now, the other thing that we do is we always have a moment of gratitude prior to eating. And so um, sometimes that looks like a set prayer or a song. Sometimes it's a go around the table and say what, you know, what we're grateful for during the day. That opens up a lot of conversation, but we always somehow give give thanks or gratitude for the meal. All right. So if you're going around the table, then usually the chef will take the first bite and then you have gratitude through the whole meal. Or if you're doing a set prayer, then you pray and then the chef takes the first bite. Once the chef takes the first bite, that's an indication to everybody else at the table that they're welcome to begin consuming the meal. And that's cool. Um, one of the other things is that everybody stays at the table until the last person is finished eating, which is hard for lots of people. So it teaches kids that they are allowed to make conversation, um, and they do, and they tell you all sorts of things. Um, it also encourages children just to learn to sit and enjoy each other's company. I gotta say that as adults we're often finished before the kids and it can be quite a struggle to sit and wait for kids to finish eating because they're chatting and talking. And uh, But we found that there's a lot of beautiful conversations that come out of that. Uh, the other thing is that um, then we clear the table together as a group and the kitchen gets cleaned really quickly. It's wonderful. And so I'd like to, for you guys to implement some of that. Oh, and the other thing is we never, we never cook to the taste of the children. So what we cook is what the children eat. That's that. 
there's usually some kind of a like a bread or a rice or something plain that anybody would enjoy but uh, we you know we make whatever we're going to be eating and that's what the children are offered we're not making separate meals for separate people forget that especially not in a family and I encourage you guys to you know avoid starting to cook to taste otherwise yeah, you're gonna lose your minds later when trying to decide what to eat becomes a bit of a chore as the main chef in the house and so I think that that's about all I have to say about that um I know that our meal times are a lot of fun I might I might put a link to our channel um it's called world championship slowest eaters competition and all it is is our family from start to finish sitting around the table and you can see the routine in there so you guys that's all i have to say about that make yourselves a mealtime routine maybe even if you don't have children it would be good if as a couple you know you wait till the chef takes the first bite same thing at dessert you wait till the person who served the dessert is sitting down and eating and and it just it just shows respect and appreciation and gratitude and it's lovely and I love you and you're brilliant and that's all I have to say have a great day I hope you guys enjoy every bite of delicious food you take together Mwah. love you